Welcome everyone. Thanks a lot for staying with us. You're watching Plain Speak with me, Shivani Gupta. After three days and four games of intense chess across two formats, Magnus Carlsen has finally managed to win the FIDE World Cup for the first time in his career. He defeated India's Pragyananda in the final. The 18-year-old teenage prodigy who dragged the world number one Carlsen through to the tiebreaker after two classical games ended in a draw. Regardless of the final loss, the FIDE World Cup has been an event to savor for the teenager from Chennai. On his way to the final, remember, Prag had ended the campaigns of both world number two, Hikaru Nakamura, and world number three, Fabiano Karuna, via tie breaks as well, before pushing Carlson's quest for his first ever World Cup title also through to a tie break. Seeded 31, Prag is the lowest seed to make the final of the World Cup. He's the youngest World Cup finalist ever. And the list goes on. Now Prague also becomes the third youngest player after legendary Bobby Fischer and Carlson himself to qualify for the candidates tournament. This tournament, remember, is held to find the challenger for the reigning world champion, in this case, Ding Liren, at the next World Chess Championship Finals. Pragananda might not have won the tournament, but it's just a beginning for him. He surely has won a billion hearts with his impeccable moves on the chess board. So are we looking at the next world champion from India to succeed in the footsteps of the legendary Vishwanathan Anand? We'll take that question to our special guest joining us in just a bit. But let me just, for the benefit of our viewers, take you through how this final panned out. So there were two classical games that were played first. As far as the classic game one is concerned, this ended in a draw after 35 moves. Magnus Carlsen revealed later that actually he was suffering from food poisoning and therefore his energies were low. Now both the players didn't really rush their moves as far as the classic game one is concerned and this game lasted for about three hours. So it was a long drawn one. Now classic game two, this ended in a draw after just 30 moves from each side. Prag and Carlsen lost their queens by move 10. The heavy pieces of both the players were decimated very quickly. The game ended with the same colour bishops and symmetrical pawn structure. But remember, it has been said that as far as the classic game 2 is concerned, it was clear that Magnus Carlsen was willing to settle for a draw or push for one and not really push for a victory. So then came the tiebreaker. The first two games were 25 minutes each with a bonus of 10 seconds after every move for each player. That's the rapid game 1. Magnus uh, Carlsen won this game. And Pragyananda ran out of time towards the end. That forced an error from him to, uh, as well. He was basically boxed in because of the clock pressure as well. In rapid game two, which ended in a draw, gave Magnus Carlsen the title because he kept his 1-0 lead. That game slipped away from Prag's hand after just 21 moves. But despite that result, one thing is for sure, that the best is yet to come for the young 18-year-old. Let's take a look at the, at the achievements that Pragananda has already managed as far as his career is concerned. So remember, he's the first Indian to enter the World, Chess, uh, the World Cup final after Vishwanathan Anand, who won this event, albeit in a different format, way back in 2000 and 2020, uh, 2002. Now, Prag defeated number two and number three ranked players, as I mentioned, to enter this World Cup final. That really built it up, the final against the world number one. He's also the first Indian after Vishwanathan Anand now to qualify for the Candidates Tournament. As I told you, the Candidates Tournament in itself is a big deal. Prag has become the youngest, had become earlier, the youngest international master in 2016 at the age of just 10 years. And at 12 years of age, Prague had become the second youngest grandmaster just behind American legend Bobby Fischer. So what we're looking at is truly special. Uh, Vishwanathan Anand, speaking earlier to News 18, had also commented that this is a guy that everybody tends to like and everybody is gravitating towards. But he also termed the generation that Prague is playing along with as the golden generation. The big question we ask right now though is, are we looking at the next World champion from India, special guests are joining me who know a thing or two about chess. Prag may have lost the final, but he is certainly one hearts. The entire nation prayed for Pragnananda. He gave a very good fight. Uh, yesterday and day before it was a tiebreaker. Today also he gave a good fight. How does it feel? Like, are you a little upset or is no, this no, itself no. a victory? We never upset because he, uh, he was playing with the world number one. 
not uh, just like that any player no? uh, anyway uh, we accept the result no, i never advise him regarding game i advise him uh, have a proper food and all that like that i advise him. so uh, uh, did you manage to speak to him after the the finals today no i, I didn't speak so far what is your message for your son sir be confident next time we will see what really happened through the match uh, you've been observing the match the last 3 days it was a tie breaker for the first and the second day but what did you uh, observe uh, as as part of uh, you know the chess wizard uh so the first game uh first game was a kind of a fighting game but okay it was relatively equal throughout and uh, in the end it was ended in a draw like it was uh, rook versus knight same side pawns there both of us didn't have any chance and uh, i mean both of them didn't have chances and they agreed to a draw uh sd relatively it was a very quick draw as we all saw like uh, as magnus mentioned in his interview it was not so well and uh, he decided to make quick draw and to rest a bit Let's go across to some of our special guests joining us Indian grandmaster Praveen Thipse is with us Tanya Sachdev also the Indian chess player and Soumya Swaminathan international master and woman grandmaster in India all with us thanks a lot for your time Praveen let me begin with you uh lost the final but this is going to hold him in great stead as he moves on especially as far as that 20, uh, 2024 candidates is concerned Yes, I think uh, to qualify to the candidates is basically one of the uh, greatest uh, achievement at this age, one could say, because uh, you know, like uh, nobody had uh, qualified, no Indian had qualified to this uh, stage. In fact, we, a lot of our players, players played World Cup, but none of them had gone beyond uh, round four earlier. And this time, we saw in last eight there were four Indians. So uh, India is now at a different uh, uh, level. Com- completely and uh, we are going to play for the world championship and pragnaran because of his nerves and quality of play he happened to uh, be here playing against uh, carlson and uh, he had to face the strongest opposition among the indians so okay gukesh played carlson a bit earlier hmm. but the strongest op- opposition uh, pragnaran faced and in spite of that uh, he was just able to get to the final and also to make a draw in the classical match mm. against carlson itself is a great achievement because carlson had won won five previous matches in classical itself mm. he didn't go to the tie break after the second round yes yeah absolutely that in itself uh tanya if i can ask you that that shows a lot of confidence and the level at which prag is playing to force that tie breaker against magnus carlson i know carlson talked about being uh, having lack of energy and having suffered that food poisoning bout of sorts but you know even then to go toe to toe uh, against the world number 1 is a big feat Absolutely I think this uh, it's safe to say that this is this has been the tournament of Prague's life he surpassed every single expectation mm. we were all very excited to see how the inter- Indian contingent would do at the World Cup but having four players qualify to the quarter finals and then Prague taking it all the way to the finals mm. uh, to fight for championship against uh, Magnus and en route taking down Hikaru Nakamura taking down Fabiano Caruana two of the world's top 3 players Uh, it's uh, been a spectacular run and making it to the candidates which is the biggest dream of every chess player to be able to fight for the world championship absolutely so mayor what is it that makes prag really special for you because you know um, obviously we we have a real great crop of uh, great players four of them were in the quarter finals of this event but is prag a little bit special All right just hold your thoughts Amy I'm going to come back to you in just a bit because I think all of you would be very happy to hear from the young boy that I have with me joining us now Prag thanks a lot for speaking to news 18 and many many congratulations how do you feel was that a tense exhausting final for you Yeah thank you yeah it's of course exhausting event and uh, I'm happy that I made it to finals and uh, um yeah today didn't go my way but I know overall I think I played well and qualifying to the candidates is the main thing could you describe a little bit more of uh, how that final went for you the two classical games you managed to draw them that in itself do you think is a big achievement for you and what happened later in the rapid yeah uh, i wouldn't say it's a 
it's a big achievement uh, drawing to classical games but yeah i could have maybe tried a bit better in the uh in the in the tie breaks but yeah it's uh, tough to play magnus um, hmm uh like it's is of course strongest player in the world hmm so uh, especially as far as rapid game one was concerned uh, did you feel the clock pressure that really got to you yeah of course it's a shorter time control so there there is time pressure uh, there um yeah i mean i could have played a bit better uh, the first game but okay, it's uh, um it happens and uh, okay in the second game i didn't really get any chance so hmm. yeah i mean he played uh, better uh, today You know Magnus has been uh, uh, joking around with you in one after your uh, after your beat uh, your win against Nakamura he was like we all want to be like Prague today he also came to you after you beat Karwana and tapped your shoulder how's your equation and you know your camaraderie with the world number 1 and how was it like facing him Yeah I whenever I get chance I try to you know discuss chess with them and learn from him uh, we managed We 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 got to be in the same team in Global Chess League, so there as well I was trying to discuss about chess and um, yeah, I, I mean those moments were really special when he um, when he came to me after I beat Karu uh, and um, uh, and while he was playing a game, so that was definitely a special moment. Yes. Um, and yeah, uh, I mean of course. Um, As I said, whenever I get chance, I try to learn. So you know, Prag, a lot of people are talking about your run through this uh, World Cup. Last time around, you were eliminated in the fourth round. This time around, you've beaten the world number three, world number two, uh, to en route to the final, where you even forced the tiebreaker against the world number one. Uh, has this been the best you have ever played and the most most memorable tournament for you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Being one of my best tournaments uh, and a memorable one, and okay, first of all, like I think the very important thing is that it gives me a ticket to the candidates, candidates and yes. yeah, that's very important. Other than that, uh, uh, I was talking to Vishwanathan Anand earlier. I was talking to Ramesh, your coach earlier, and everybody is saying the last three tournaments you have really shifted gears. You have really oh, upped yeah. your game. What has made the difference for you? Um. Uh, I mean, I, I guess uh, yeah. I was just trying to be mentally ready, and I think that kind of uh, clicked me. And also, I was in a good form. And yeah, uh, I mean, global chess league definitely gave me a lot of confidence, and I think I took it for uh, uh, Hungary. Even. So yeah, I mean, I think I'm also playing well overall in these uh, last few tournaments. So that way, also I'm quite happy. Your mother has been with you all uh, all through your journey all through these tournaments and that image of your mother secretly looking at you fondly uh, with so much pride in her eyes went viral uh, can you just share with us uh, what it means to have your mother mm-hmm. with you ri- uh, right by your side in these tournaments yeah of course it's a, it's a huge support uh, not only for me for, for my sister as well mm-hmm. um, I, i think family support is the important thing uh, to succeed in any field and i have that so i'm very very happy and yeah my mother is here just supporting me and it's been a long event uh, um so uh, yeah having someone is uh, definitely good and for me my mother yeah is special and are you aware of the kind of reaction your world cup final entry has evoked in india what are the kind of reactions that you've been reading online maybe or getting uh, directly to you Yeah, I didn't uh, read uh, much. I mean, I got few few messages, but yeah, overall, I heard that it has been huge in India, and um, yeah, I'm very happy to see that. And chess is getting popular, and more people are coming into chess, and I think that's a good first sport. So, all geared up for candidates 2024. That's the big one, as you talked about, and uh, you would be very uh, you would be very keen to make a mark in that tournament as well. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's the next big thing, and yeah, I will try to give my best. But surely you'll be taking a break now. It's been an exhausting three events for you. What do you? What is it that you really like to do after a big chess tournament? What is it? The first thing um, you'll be doing? Yeah, yeah. I have more tournaments coming up actually. Yeah. Uh, day after, there's a going to Germany, so that's next for me. 
and what is it that prague likes to do to relax after such yeah. intensive games um yeah just try to relax and not uh, see chess for at least few few hours and maybe days possible all right so prag just give me a sense of uh, you know your journey that you have had especially in the last 3 to 4 years uh what is it that has really helped you in getting to this level what is it that is working for you or who is your uh, who has contributed the most to your success yeah of course there are many many people uh, my family my coaches my sponsors uh, the government uh, and acf of course um, uh, federation and many many uh, many supporters as well and yeah i'm very grateful to all of them okay, but prak just stay with me for 2 minutes i've got somya samanathan and i've got uh, tanya sachdev praveen tipse with me and i'm sure they all want to say a word to you somya you want to say something to prak well i think uh, great show pragnan and uh, you know we really look forward to your candidates the way you are improved in these 3 months if you keep on improving at this pace then you could be the strongest player in the world by the time the next year uh, cha- world championship is played so i really look forward to improving and qualifying uh, as a challenger uh, in the april uh, 2024 candidates and by the time you play the world championship match you could be world number 1 as you uh, to be consistent uh, uh, work as hard as you did have strong nerves as you already shown mm-hmm. and a wonderful performance something Uh, i couldn't have uh, believed a month back and i see a uh, young vishwanathan anand uh, in making because i saw young vishwanathan anand when he was younger than you i, I see a lot of similarity in your uh, quick success and keep it up please is vishy yeah, thank you thank you very much sir is vishy a role model for you prag yeah yeah of course uh, anand sir is a huge role model Okay very quickly I just want to have Soumya say all right I think we've lost him there but we'll try and get him back but Soumya uh, sorry I interrupted you earlier Soumya Soumyanathan your thoughts on uh, the success that uh, uh, Prag has had and the big question is are we looking at the next world chess champion from India someone who could truly emulate in winning that big title like Vishy Anand did Yeah definitely I think uh... he is a very very strong candidate for world champion along with the uh, you know young generation we have gukesh we have arjun we have rona we have nihal so we have very strong potential uh, world champions in the making who are of prag's generation and all of them are growing together of course prag in this tournament has broken all barriers i think he has inspired you know like vishy inspired a whole generation of players to take mm. up chess i think prag's victory uh prag's performance in this event ha- will inspire a lot of um uh, kids to take up chess and excel in their chosen fields hmm absolutely uh tanya what do you think the impact of this is going to be because vishy already terms it as the golden gen- generation that we are uh, witnessing there's gukesh there's uh, arjun there's of course vidit and prag so from here there's only upwards to go It's going to be huge uh, and I think this is sort of the marking of a kind of we've been talking about this change of guard in the chess world where you've got this younger generation that's been sort of knocking on the door and uh, just shaking up the very best the very elite in the world and then mm. when you've got a uh, three players who are under 20 who make it to the uh, the quarter finals and then Prag the first indian after vishy who will be playing in the candidates to try and get a spot at the world championship uh, it really feels like the golden age for chess and as uh, vishy mentioned it it's uh, the golden generation so praveen what is it that somebody like prag needs now uh, i'm i'm quite certain that his close group is taking care of him uh, he has good people taking care of him uh, but what do you think needs to be done or should should people just let him be actually should uh, no more pressure should be put on him because that could actually spoil things more than help him Oh uh, yes I think what yeah. he is doing at the moment is right and uh, he is improving so fast uh, that I don't think that at this stage any uh, you know intervention uh, is called for I in fact I watched uh, his training sessions with his uh, trainer RB Ramesh I was there to watch as a head of the delegation in the olympiad hmm. and I'm for this found was that the uh, sort of energy uh, prak showed and other youngsters as well 
Sir, uh, it became very clear last year itself that sky was the limit for these players and that perhaps could be said only about Vishwanathan Anand uh, three decades back. So I think at this moment Prague is being very consistent and at some stage he finds that he hasn't played as well as he played last month or something and uh, say in a couple of months, then I think he should seek advice of Vishwanathan Anand, yes. uh, I think the all-time uh, great uh, sportsman of India and the one who has had a lot of ups and downs. He won the title, he, won, he lost the titles and so on mm -hmm. and a person who won a World Rapid Championship at the age of 50 which can be taken as a phenomenon. So of course if something goes wrong for a short while, Prague, has, uh, Prague could have uh, somebody like Vishwanathan Anand as his mentor but at the moment his parents and his uh, trainer uh, RB Ramesh, they are doing very well mm. and 99% of course is Prague's own because yeah. he's not the only student of the coach and he's not the only person who has these facilities. So no, absolutely. You have to have obviously the talent character, and the genius of your own uh, to make it this far. But Swami, I want to understand from you too, uh, what is it that Prague would need when he goes into the candidates? Of course, his game is there. He can, you know, he can... Uh, work on that a little bit more uh, and uh, figure out some more strategies, hone his skills. But I think more than that, it is the nerve and the confidence that he has displayed in the World Cup that is needed, isn't it? Definitely. And actually, I was observing his body language in this tournament and uh, previous few tournaments. He has grown leaps and bounds yes. in terms of his confidence. And uh, today he was playing the man himself, Magnus Carlsen, who is known for his confidence over the board. And Prag didn't look nervous at all, uh, which is a great sign. I think he's doing a lot of things right. Uh, and uh, he also needs to build a good team. I saw that uh, uh, Grandmaster M. Sham Sundar was accompanying him in this tournament as a second. I saw some images. So that's good that he's building a team. And as far as mentorship goes, he's also part of the Westbridge Anand Academy, where he does get mentorship from Anand himself. So I think he's in good hands and uh, mm. he can uh, chart a good journey for himself ahead. Yes, you know, when I asked Vishy, did you tell him anything about how to face Magnus? He was like, you know, he was, uh, Vishy was there in Baku for a few days before he came back to India. He's obviously traveling again. And he was like, you know, every time I thought of speaking to him, I was like, okay, maybe I should leave him alone because he's going to be very focused. And nobody knew at that time that he was going to get into the final to play Magnus Carlsen. But he did say that I and Prague have talked about Magnus Carlsen in the past. Magnus Carlsen, of course, being the one who defeated Vishy Anand in 2013. Uh, to take away his World Chess Championship title. But Tanya, as far as chess in the country is concerned, we are obviously one of the top countries. We keep producing great talent like all of you all and of course Prague and uh, Arjun and Gukesh and others. But is there anything that is missing in chess in India that is needed to give it that further growth spurt? I think all these youngsters, uh, the right ingredients, the potential, the talent, the hard work, uh, everything is there and you know you were saying what does it take to make it to that next stop that is the world championship title and uh, how do you get how do you make it past the candidates so I, I think it's they have they all have the potential uh, India is the big chess superpower the country that everybody is talking about where we've got 83 grandmasters right now one 18 year old who turned 18 at the world cup has made it to the candidates hmm. uh, so it's what more is needed? I think there are these factors that come together. You have to not put the pressure. You have to let them have their journey. Let them see where it goes. The more we co keep talking about becoming the world champion, becoming the world champion, I feel like it doesn't really add, yes. add to it. Uh, but they all have what it takes and we just have to wait and watch. And for Prague, this has really been that moment where you know that he's up there with the very best in the world. The last year he's had has been phenomenal performances. Uh, he has this amazing ability to calculate precisely, to not fear who he's playing against, mm. to play with confidence, have incredible nerves when he's low on the clock. And mm. that has gotten him so far in this tournament. Uh, and it's going to be amazing to see what he brings to the board in his first candidates event. Absolutely. We're all uh, very excited about that already. And, you know, that's the beauty of the impact that Prague in the final of the World Cup has had. I want a word also, Soumya, about his family. You know, those images of his mother looking at him. That really is the stuff that warms your hearts, isn't it? 
it's very sweet i think they have a wonderful family mm. i have interacted quite a bit with vaishali and the, uh, their parents yeah uh, you can see his father on the screen he also supports uh, prag and vaishali of course from home there is a lot of logistics that goes behind his travel and tournament play and he takes care of all of that uh, the scheduling all of that bookings and uh, while his mother travels with him provides the moral support and mm. the indian food during the games mm. uh, so yeah they have a wonderful family also his sister is a very strong player r vaishali she mm. is in the indian women's team for the asian games mm. and uh, she um, she and prag also support each other a lot uh, in technical chess as well as uh, discussing their experiences All right. I'll leave all of you all on that note. Thanks a lot for joining us today and uh, speaking on the great journey that Prague has had and of course so much to look forward to. But remember I did speak to his coach also all through this World Cup journey and here is his coach talking about just what makes Prague special and also the the sacrifices that his family has made over the years the journey that Prague has had. Listen it. Uh, I think like uh, if you have seen uh, the paragraph of uh, Prague, he has been making many world records even from a very young age. At the age of 10, he became mm. world's young, uh, international master. At the age of 12, he became second youngest grandmaster in the world, which was again a record. And uh, at the age of 14, he became 2600, which was again the youngest he ever to become uh, 2600. So he has been making uh, records uh, consistently. but uh, then covid happened for a couple of years he could not uh, participate in uh, compete in any tournaments and uh, since the covid uh, he has been uh, working extremely hard and uh, trying to build uh, new strengths uh, for example when he became a grandmaster his opening preparation was not his uh, strength he had some issues there subsequently he worked hard worked hard in that and uh, became quite good at that area so he has this ability to keep working on his weaknesses and uh, converting them into strengths so Uh, we have the identified few areas uh, uh, since march till march he, he had played few tournaments and we had identified some areas of concern and he has been working on those areas and uh, the results are here to show well the results have been quick clearly can you describe to me ramesh when was the first time you met him and what did you make him make of him first yeah i think it was during the world junior championship it, which happened uh, in chennai probably like 10 years ago where i was giving commentary for the world championship uh, back then it was not very common for chess commentary to happen and uh, it was one <laughs> among the audience he was probably like 6 and a half 7 year old kid and he was uh, joining in the analysis very enthusiastically and i was quite impressed such a young child without any inhibition so is uh, extremely talented which was obvious uh, from the time i started with him and uh, extremely self confident as well very responsible there are many children who want to achieve big but without paying the price without putting in the effort but from very young age prag has been a terrific hard worker the kind of effort he puts into learning chess and growing it's just uh, amazing but when did you first realize that prakiranda is different you know a lot of young kids start playing chess at the age that even prakiranda did and of course uh, india is known to produce many grandmasters as well when did you realize that this kid could be different i remember like uh, the age of 10 uh, we had a 10 day training camp with few other children and uh, prak and uh, another child uh, arvind chirambaram who is also a grandmaster now he is uh, 2 time national champion they both had done extremely well in the camp and after all the other players had left i wanted to speak to those two children and i was telling prak like uh, at the time he already had a two international master norms and one more norm would make him hmm. uh, the youngest international master so i told prag like uh, you should not play for im norms you can you are already deserving of a grand master norm and the answer he gave us a 10 year old kid was but sir you have been teaching us not to play for ourselves but to give our best and learn in the process <laughs> and should i play for the im norm or not so i understood like he not only listens he actually believes in uh, many of these things so i was very really impressed like he was so focused on uh, learning and giving his best but he truly is different isn't it ramesh like he truly is the prodigy that everybody is hailing right and he's set already achieved a lot and is destined for greater things yes definitely i e- even if we had uh, let's say he had been kicked out of the quarter finals in the world cup i would uh, still believe in his capabilities uh, i'm just uh, happy he went through all these hurdles and have uh, reached the finals but even otherwise i strongly believe in his uh, 
potential. I strongly believe he is a potential world champion, and uh, I hope he is able to make his dreams come true and he gets the deserving support he needs. You know, the other big thing that is being talked about are these lovely images that have come from the sidelines of the world, uh, you know, World Cup, especially uh, you know just the adoration that. Uh, that are there, that is there in the eyes of his mother, and uh, you know, just that motherly support and backbone that she is. Uh, could you describe a little bit more of that relationship from what you have seen, uh, uh, the relationship yeah. between Pragyananda and his mother? Yeah. So uh, in Chennai, where I have my academy and where I live, it's uh, kind of in the middle of right in the middle of Chennai, but where Prag lives, it's in one corner of the city. So the commuting itself is not very easy, and uh, he had to spend around uh, one one and a half hours uh, either way to reach the academy. And I remember, like uh, both him and his sister uh, Vaishali, uh, they used to come for the classes. Uh, his mother used to their mother used to accompany them, and they had to initially take a bus and then uh, take an uh, 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 sorry. He has to take a bus and then uh, subsequently share auto and then uh, walk a distance to reach our place. And uh, they used mm. to come for classes regularly. Like I remember many occasions where he will win some world under 12 championship, something like that. And then the next day he will come for the class. And even if it is raining heavily, he will come for the class. He will never uh, miss classes. So very dedicated. And I remember many instances where uh, after the class is over at 7.30 at night, he will, they will immediately go to the car park, sit in the car park and have the dinner in a different box, which uh, is their mother had brought. And... Uh, Again, uh, reach home by uh, probably around 10 p.m. or so, and then come for the class next morning. So the kind of uh, dedication uh, they have shown, and the kind of uh, hardships their parents have gone through, I know, like uh, uh, more uh, deeply, like what they have, uh, how much they have sacrificed and suffered in this journey, when there was no support initially, when uh, the ch- both the children were coming up, and uh, his father also is uh, not. Uh, Uh, in good health so they have to like mother has to take a call between taking care of uh, her husband or uh, accompanying the children uh, which is not an easy call to make and she has to do it uh, almost every month of uh, her life so a lot of sacrifices from uh, both the parents and i'm really happy that uh, uh, the children have taken the responsibility and paid back in full absolutely you know it fills your heart with so much joy and love just to see those images uh, both of Vaishali also, but, you know, especially the mother and the son relationship. And, you know, from two years ago when Pragyananda was like uh, lower in height than his mother, today he's towering over his mother. He has obviously had his growth spurt. But it's so nice to even see Pragyananda evolve into such a confident young kid, right? Uh, the way he's yes. speaking at the World Cup. Uh, it's yeah. very confident, isn't it? So, earlier, yes, earlier, like uh, uh, Anish Giri, there is another player from Netherlands, is uh, top five player in the world. Uh, everyone mm-hmm. used to make fun of Prague's interviews. Like uh, the question will be like five minute long question and Prague's answer will be yes. <laughs> very camera shy and uh, not very confident as a child uh, to meet the camera and the given interview. Yeah. He was not very confident, very self-aware. But uh, subsequently he has uh, come a long way. Now he's uh, capable of cracking jokes and uh, answering elaborately, put his thoughts in words in a nice way. Yeah. So getting better, not only in chess, but also in giving interviews. 